pyramids, temples, tombs. These ancient wonders promise even greater secrets still to be found under the sands of Egypt. Now, cutting edge science decodes the mysterious land of the pharaohs. With modern technology, we are gaining an insight. And finally, to end our adventure on the AutoCAD interface, let us try to decipher the hieroglyphs written on the entablature of AutoCAD through the ribbon. Again, pressing Control zero performs a clean screen command that hides the ribbon as well as the file tabs. So let us unhide that. Control zero and explore some of the features of the ribbon. The icons that you see on the ribbon are actually several tools you can use to command AutoCAD to create and modify your drawings. And you would notice that they are organized logically into groups. And we need to follow that as architects. Being well organized is one of the important traits of an architect. And we should see that in the way you think and how you do things. Even on how you draw and present your ideas. Well, anyway, the ribbon provides a series of tabs. For example, home, insert, annotate parametric view, etc., etc., which are then organized into panels containing the necessary tools and controls to help you in your drawing. So we have a draw panel, a modify panel, annotation panel, etc., for the home, and different panels also for the different tabs. You would also notice that each panel uh, has a slide-out panel providing you additional tools and controls. So... Once you click on the title of the panels, it would expand and it would remain there until you move the cursor out from the panel. You can also pin it down so it will remain expanded until you unpin it. So click on the pin icon and then it remained expanded. And then you could just uh, unpin that so that it would return back. Maybe sometimes you don't see the AutoCAD tool icons on the panels. Maybe because they are collapsed because of limited screen to show them. As with the case when I uh, restore down the application window. You would see here collapsed uh, panels. I'll just expand it again or maximize. Or they are minimized through uh, these ribbon view options. So click on this and minimize to tabs, minimize to panel titles, minimize to panel buttons, and then just click on this so that it would return to the full ribbon. There are instances that you cannot find the tabs or panels, maybe because they are hidden. So to check, right-click anywhere on the ribbon to display a contextual menu. And click either Show Tabs or Show Panels to see which items are shown on the ribbon. Similarly, you can use the contextual menu to hide a tab or panel. So let's try to hide the home tab. So click on home to unhide. I mean to hide the uh, tab. But of course, the home tab is important and from time to time, we shall be using it. So right click again on the uh, ribbon and then show tab and then this time check or select home. So back to home tab. For the panels, when you right click on the ribbon and uh, bring out that uh, contextual menu, the show panels options that would appear are the panels under the selected tab. So when I select annotate tab on the ribbon and then I'll right click and then show panels, the Items that uh, are shown here corresponds to the annotate tab. 
And speaking of contextual, we also have a contextual tab which only appear on the ribbon if certain command is active like the, uh, so for example, the text command. So when I type T, so T is the shortcut for multi-line text, and then hit enter, and then specify my text box. So click, drag, and then click. The text tab editor or text editor tab appears. Okay, so this is a contextual tab for editing your text. And when I finish or escape from the command, the text editor tab disappears. So that is a contextual tab. And now that we know our superpowers, as well as the bounds of our AutoCAD universe, we can now practice some of them in the next story. Take out that tower and knock down that shield, though. You get the Steppenwolf. Don't wait for me. Just do the job. 